So what's going on guys, it's JM at Speedbox here. Make sure you guys subscribe to my channel before you click on to any of my videos. Also comment below in the comment section if you guys have any opinions on what I'm saying in any of my videos. Like always, it is appreciated if you guys could drop me a quick sub or two on my channel. So Javonta Davis stops Liam Walsh inside three rounds to retain his IBF Super Featherweight title. Liam Walsh was Javonta Davis's mandatory challenger and Davis travelled over to the UK to Liam Walsh's backyard to defend the title at the Copper Box Arena in London. And in this fight, it only lasted three rounds and not really much happened in the fight in them three rounds. Like both guys are counter punchers. So both guys were really waiting for each other to commit so they could land their shots and start working, especially Liam Walsh. And Javonta Davis didn't fall into Liam Walsh's trap. I think Liam Walsh's game plan really is respecting Javonta Davis really to show him no respect and come out swinging and trying to jump on him so he could counter him but Javonta Davis didn't really do that at all he was waiting for Liam Walsh to commit like ready to hit him with a counter and the shots that did land in the first couple of rounds I thought Javonta Davis landed the better shots in the first couple of rounds and then it got to the third round and Javonta Davis hit Liam Walsh with a hard shot and it rocked Liam Walsh to his boots and then Javonta Davis jumped on him with a barrage of shots with a couple of combinations and Liam Walsh hit the canvas and the referee countered. Liam Walsh managed to make it back to his feet and then Javonta Davis jumped on him again and landed a barrage of shots and the referee stopped it. Some people are saying it was a premature stoppage but I don't think it was a premature stoppage. I think Liam Walsh was hurt and I think if he was allowed to continue anymore, he would have ended up on his back anyway. So I think the stoppage was right. Liam Walsh was hurt. But it was a fight that didn't really catch fire and it was just quick business from Javonta Davis. So what does Javonta Davis do next? He was very tight at the £130 weight limit yesterday. He struggled to make the weight. He needed three attempts to make the £130 limit. So does Javonta Davis move up to £135 and try and get a big fight over there? There are a lot better fighters at £135 like Mikey Garcia, Robert Easter Jr. who's a lot taller than Javonta Davis and Jorge Lenores. But Javonta Davis looked like he hit very hard and he looks like he does have some talent in there Javonta Davis. Like he could really make some noise in the world of boxing. He's only young, he's only 22 years old. He still has some flaws I think he needs to work on. But I think if he carries on winning and doing everything right in his career. I think he'll be a force in the sport of boxing. He's got Floyd Mayweather behind him and Floyd Mayweather's promotional team, so he'll have that back in. And I think the next fight for Javante Davis would be highly ranked contender Tevin Farmer because Tevin Farmer is a really good boxer. The only thing about Tevin Farmer, though, is that Tevin Farmer don't really hit very hard at all. But he's a very, very slick boxer, Tevin Farmer. And I think he could give Javonta Davis problems because he's very quick. And them two got into it recently backstage at the Lomachenko Jason Sosa fight, where the two men had to be separated from each other before a brawl broke out between the two guys. And I think Javonta Davis should fight Tevin Farmer next, or he should move up. To 135 pounds because I don't really see him troubling somebody like um, Lomachenko who's a WBO champion I think he's too young for somebody like Lomachenko Lomachenko is way way too experienced for Javonta Davis and I think um, Lomachenko would pick him apart at this stage in his career obviously you've got other champions like Gisel Corrales he's the WBA champion and I think that could be a good fight as well for Javonta Davis if he wants to try and get another title at the super featherweight limit. But I think he's struggling to make the weight. He's a very big super featherweight. So I think he should either fight Tevin Foreman, like I just said, or move up to £135. Very good performance from Javonta Davis. I don't know where Liam Walsh goes from here, really. Like, he's a very big guy at the weight as well. He could move up to lightweight. Because he got himself into this position for a shot at the IBF title. So the best thing for him really is to rebuild at the super featherweight division. Or he could move up 
because he's a big guy at the weight as well. So, yeah, comment below in the comment section. It's JM.